Hey gang, Matt here with Atlas Precision Consulting. Today's video, we should be covering one of our last topics on cycle counts. We're going to be talking about posting and when to and when not to delete a cycle count batch. Uh, so we're going to start off with the posting one. We're going to check our box and we're going to put in that count 26 that we've been playing with. Now you'll notice it takes me straight to the items. That's because I've already retrieved this once, so I don't have to do it again. Um, it pulls all of our discrepancies up to the top. If I wanted to adjust some of those counts, I can do that. For this purpose, I'm not going to. At this point, if you're happy with your counts, you just go to adjustment, put your reason code in if it's changed or if you need to set a different one, check it as approved and hit save. That has now gone out there. That has updated the date last counted and has updated your on hand count. Now let's talk about deleting batches. Um, there, there's one reason to delete a batch only. I'm gonna pull a different batch in here um, the only reason you would ever want to delete a batch is if because it was created by error or it is so old that you can't trust those counts anymore. Um, so you could come in here and you'd go to the adjustment tab, check the delete box, save it. A common mistake that a lot of people have is they will send a count out and go, Hey, these counts are all great. I'm just going to sit. I'm just going to delete it. There's no discrepancies. I don't need to delete it. You're going to want to post a batch, even if the counts are a hundred percent right. The reason being is what it will do is, uh, you should probably seen this screen before this date last counted. Um, this is, this ties into your cycle counting. If you just delete that batch, it does not record that as being counted. If we post a batch that has no discrepancies, it's going to give me a pop-up. So I'm going to check this as approved. If I did want to delete it, it's a simple checkbox, delete, save. That's all it is. But I'm going to approve a batch with no discrepancies on it. You're going to get a pop-up that's going to say, hey, there were no adjustments. Would you like to update the um, date last counted? Yes. The answer is always yes. Um, if you're posting a batch, you want to update that count, um, that date last counted. If this is a mistake batch, if this is an old batch, then you want to delete it. You, you need those dates to be updated for your cycle counts to work as properly as they can. All right. So if you have any more questions on cycle counts, um, if you have any questions on anything, put a comment down below, make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.